Welcome to Luxuriously Poor, and I hope you guys are having a blessed day. And thank you for stopping by. I love hearing from you guys. So please, thumbs up and leave me a comment. And today, I'm going to talk to you about a little tip, okay? You may already know this. This was given to me by my son. It is a rooster. Isn't he adorable? I used him for years. He's a salt and pepper shaker, and he's just so cute. Bless his heart. And every time I use him, I would think of my son. I think he found this at a truck stop somewhere. And then a friend of mine, this little pig, she gave to me. I used to raise pigs. He looks like real, okay? And now I use him for a salt and pepper shaker. And so the rooster just kind of sat there. You guys may have the same issue. I don't need two salt and pepper shakers in my kitchen. Okay, these are two spices that I like to use a lot. I love the flavor of chili chipotle. If you put enough of it, it's actually hot, but not super hot. But it's just got a really, really good flavor to it. And I buy it in the can, but you know what? Um, sometimes I don't have the can, and so I use this. And I love to use turmeric. But guess what? These holes are huge. And when you go to try to sprinkle just a little bit, you end up smothering whatever it is you're trying to make in turmeric or chili chipotle. So, this is what I did. I took my son's salt shaker and pepper, and this is chili chipotle, and this is the turmeric. And it comes out slow, fine. It works perfectly. It really does, guys. Now, I know that some of you may have thought of something like this. Or maybe you've actually bought salt and pepper shakers and you've done the same thing. But if you have it around the house already, because somebody's giving it to you, why spend more money? Use what you have, and every time you use it, you remember that special friend or that special son.